Hey guys, Katalimiron again here with another tutorial. In this uh, video, I'm going to continue the pop motion series and I'm going to show you how to create this uh, morph effect uh, using pop motion uh, and flubber. Uh, and we are also going to animate the, the background. Uh, I came by this design by, by Adip. I'll share the link with you in the description. Uh, first, uh, we will need uh, Flubber, which is uh, a plugin for interpolating different paths, SVG paths. And for the gradient, I'm going to use a plugin that I, I, I wrote uh, called React Native CSS Gradient, uh, which is uh, uh, using uh, the linear gradient from Expo. Uh, and you can pass a CSS-like syntax for creating different uh, gradients, uh, especially if you're coming from a web background, this uh, should be familiar to you. So let's go to, to the design. First, we need to, to have the face in SVG with different mounts. I already created it in a vector. And uh, what we have here is we have all the faces. Uh, uh, the excited one and the upset is uh, the same mouth but uh, flipped uh, vertically and so on for for different uh, different ones and uh, you can export it you have the uh, the HTML here and I also created a script that will output the whole uh, uh, the object that will have the name of the uh, face and the path. I'm not going to bother you uh, with uh, copy pasting stuff, so I already have the uh, the paths here, uh, the types that we are going to use, and also the gradients. And I'll uh, dig deeper uh, and. I'm going to paste it in in a, in. I already have a project here uh, with Expo, and let me just open the the Expo project here and go to to the feedback and open the console and uh, create uh, add a new terminal here. And we need uh, uh, four different uh, plugins. The one is React Native CSS Gradient, uh, Pop Motion, Flubber for uh, interpolating the paths, and Vector Icons for the star uh, icons. So uh, once this is finished, we can uh, start by uh, importing uh, the gradient from React Native CSS Gradient. Uh, also import um, um, interpolate from Flubber. Um, we will import uh, Twin and Easing from Pop Motion. We will use uh, uh, Twin uh, and to interpolate different uh, uh, the different paths. Uh, based on a duration and the gradients uh, for each particular type of a face I specify the gradient here and uh, you feel free to use whatever colors you find convenient uh, I, I was playing around with them and I came up with those uh, colors uh, first we need to uh, um, import uh, SVG uh, from uh, Expo and also we need the dimensions of the screen so import dimensions from React Native uh, and get the width and height um, from uh, the screen and from the SVG we will need the path and the group uh, from SVG Okay, so uh, let's go here and remove the text and get the SVG, apply the width uh, and height. Let's say the height is going to be 
uh, a third of the screen and the view box uh, view box is going to start from zero zero and is going to have uh, if we go there back to to the vector to the pages we see that the the face has uh, 166 pixels by 136 so we also need to specify this uh, in the view box so it's 166 and 136 and inside this SVG let's uh, group all the paths and we will have three different paths uh, the, the one for the left eye so we will have uh, paths uh, left eye and also the right eye and the main is going to be uh, the let's add it to the state so the current path and add something to the state so we will have the path the current path so it's going to be uh, neutral in the first place we also have a background which is gradient uh, neutral we will also have the type which is new neutral and uh, also an index which is going to be minus one uh, the the default the index will say uh, where are uh, with the stars so if you hit uh, the fourth star the index will be three so we know how many stars will be filled uh, we'll get to that in in a in a second um, and if we hit uh, save now uh, we should see the neutral face uh, displayed here and now let's also continue with the um, the stars and we will also need to import and expo vector icon so it's i think it's and design from and design we will have we will iterate over the types and we'll say we'll have the type and the index and we are going to uh, return a touchable opacity and we will pass the key being the name and also on press handler for now let's leave it empty um, and inside we'll have the end design we specify the name of the icon and also the size is going to be 32 uh, and the color is going to be white and the name uh, we will have either star or uh, start uh, being a line so the star is filled star O is just the line star and if the index is uh, greater or equal to the current index we will have the star or otherwise we'll have the star uh, O and if we apply a different background let's say 09C uh, let's also don't forget to import the touchable opacity and hit the save we should okay uh, i just forgot so as you can see we have the stars here and if we specify the index to be two we'll have uh, the first three icons uh, filled and now let's go to the style the the view the wrapper and apply a style so it's going to be feedback uh, feedback wrapper and the feedback wrapper will have a flex direction of row we also line items to the center and justify content uh, space around let's also give it a height of 60 and a border radius of 30 pixels and the background color of uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.05 maybe something really 
uh, really small and uh, hit uh, hit save here and also apply a width of with multiply with 0.9 so 90 percent of the screen cool now we have the stars here and on press uh, we would like to interpolate between different paths so uh, uh, interpolate paths and here we will pass the type and also the index and in in this method interpolate paths we will have the type and the index we want to use the twin from pop motion uh, and interpolate uh, uh, also the background and the paths themselves so we will have a twin uh, this one accepts the duration of 40 uh, 400 milliseconds the ease is going to be easing is in out uh, we will interpolate from i equals to zero and the background uh, is going to be the uh, current background so uh, the background from the state and we want to go to uh, i equals to one and the uh, background is going to be uh, the gradients uh, the, and the type by type and we want to pipe it uh, and here we will receive the eye and the background and we want to uh, return uh, the path which is going to be an interpolator so interpolator here is going to be the interpolate from flubber interpolate and we will uh, interpolate from the current path to the new path so paths and the type and pass max segment length to 2 and this interpolator we will uh, call in the path and we are also going to pass the i uh, this interpolator will interpolate the path from initial to the final one based on uh, from 0 to 1 to uh, based on this i and we also want to uh, uh, pass the background here and when the animation will start we will receive the path and the background and we want to set state with path background uh, the type and the index uh, and let's hit uh, let's hit save and see now you see when you will move to uh, to a different path everything will uh, will work properly and you can also move quite fast and uh, because we will uh, transition from the current path uh, everything is move so if you're moving fast you'll see everything it's working properly and now we also need to wrap everything uh, uh, with uh, with a gradient so the gradient is going to be the parent of of this uh, component and we will specify the gradient so in this case is the gradient from the state and we will need to pass some styles so it's going to be styles uh, gradient and the gradient uh, we need to pass the width and the height so it's full screen and uh, we will align items to the center let's say and justify the content to the center um, should be the background cool so as you can see for example for neutral we have a linear gradient to bottom so it's going to go down and uh, when we are going to change it is going to animate the to the new to the new gradient uh, let's let's try it out so as you can see everything it's working uh, smooth and 
we have also the gradient uh, animation and the last thing that we need to do is uh, to also give this a feel like an universal feel and also create the constant here is going to be let's say 333 and hit save and uh, we have like the full animation uh, just uh, working it's also the the background the color it's also working for for the background if you're changing super fast let's also apply that uh, view with the uh, text that was saying please rate your feedback so and we also need to have do let snow your thoughts and we will also need um, your feedback matters and for it let's also apply uh, the styles headings um, and for this one this is the heading this is the body copy it uh, let's see what we also wanna let's also wrap this uh, svg and uh, the view inside the view and pass a style saying styles uh, svg wrapper and go to to the styles we don't need style uh, so we will have the headings uh, the heading, the body, uh, the SVG wrapper, and what else? Nothing. So this is going to be uh, the color is going to be white, and also for the body is going to be white. And for the body, I'm also going to specify a font family which is Menlo. And the headings will have a flex of 0.4 and we will align the items to the center and also get rid of the justify because we don't want everything aligned here centrally. So this one will have a flex of uh, the remained size and we will um, justify content uh, space around and also line items to the center uh, and for the heading we are also going to apply a size of let's say 42 the line height is going to also be 50 let's say and we let's let's leave it like that and see where we are uh, our font weight of 700 and I think that I'm also going to decrease the size and for this one uh, we want to justify content to the center because we want to position everything to the center and this one it's also going to be center and for the SVG let's apply a different style so styles that SVG container so yeah guys um, I hope that you've enjoyed and um, I hope that you find it uh, really easy to create this such a morph and also animate the the gradient background and i hope that you found it uh, useful please uh, leave any comments uh, and uh, feel free to subscribe and also hit the uh, ring bell if uh, you want to be notified uh, when i'm posting a new a new video